licensed CEL, a relationship expert, or is Carly Wag just seeking attention? Hello and welcome to Sagaciously Speaking, formerly Becoming Mommy Geo. We are excited to be fully back. The IVD saga has been going on for a while now, with huge support for Bimbo and a call to arms against domestic violence with many calling for the head of IVD, Bimbo's husband, and her supposed abuser. True to her nature, Blessing CEO came out gun blazing in support of IVD, claiming she has evidence that Bimbo was the aggressor in the relationship. See what this bastard did to me. Uh, see what she did to me. Uh, she just hit me right now. See what she did to me. And uh, this is me. This is me bleeding. This is me bleeding. This is me bleeding. This is me bleeding. Yeah. That's me. That's me. She just did this to me right now. This is me bleeding. I have a witness. Um, the witness that stays in this house is her brother. That was, it was a witness. Then uh, her son, who she have instigated things on, is also the witness. This is what she did to me. I won't take this. I won't take this no more. I will never, ever take this anymore in my life. To end today, I'm ready for... Blessing CEO has beaten more than she can chew this time around by supporting IVD. Personally, I consider Blessing CEO to be a nuisance, you know? She has zero credibility, especially after she was caught claiming someone else's house was hers. And instead of coming out to say the truth and apologize, she made the most appalling of excuses and took no responsibility for her actions. A person like this that plays fast and loose with the truth is not credible. Our self-acclaimed relationship therapist, as per her usual, has inserted herself into the IVD saga. A real professional therapist would not insert herself into her patient's problems, especially when she knows it will escalate the issue. A lot of people are now questioning Blessing's credentials. Now, according to her, she did study economics for her first degree, which is technically unrelated to human behavior, but she claims to have certification from the Beulah Institute but that's just a few with scores here and there so technically Blessing CEO is not really qualified to issue advice on a professional level it is just like you going to learn how to become a chemist assistant and then claiming you are a pharmacist now as you can see these are two different things um, however, based on her experience, she could be an advisor of some sort, as we all are, after learning from the school of life, after making mistakes over and over again, naturally, we all learn from our mistakes, and by so doing, we can actually give better advice based on personal reflections. She has no research, no figures to back her theories, and she just picks from her experience anyway. So technically, she should talk as per her experience and stop flaunting the I am a therapist here and there. Blessing posted a series of materials yesterday claiming she would step into IVD saga as a relationship therapist. Now this raised a lot of questions for me. How will she do this? Is she going to break confidentiality by posting things about IVD? Or posting things IVD and Bimbo spoke about during their sessions with her? Did she even treat the couple? Or is she just going to regurgitate Things that we're told to have by IVD without Bimbo collaborating the story. Blessing is not totally wrong in her assessment of the IVD saga. I guess it was the way she presented her argument that angered people making them report her channel till it was taken down. Blessing claims Bimbo wanted to die. I don't know what evidence she has to back this up, but going through everything online, Bimbo did have all that she needed to have left, including a supportive family. Blessing posted a few videos to aid her argument, but those videos created more questions. This video, for instance, of IVD working with pillows, was Bimbo trying to make IVD stop accusing the nurse treating his open soul unjustly. However, um, Blessing is trying to portray this video as um, Bimbo being aggressive towards 
IVD and kicked IVD out of the house. You would not take those injections after lying against a poor widow. You would not. You would not inject yourself after lying against a poor widow. You would not. You would not. And I would not be a party to your life, IVD. Enough is enough. Now, both parties in this relationship seems to be as toxic as each other. So a professional would have called it mutual combat, not blaming one party and exonerating the other. Another aspect is the part of Bimbo carrying sacrifices for IVD in order for him to prosper and refuse to leave her marriage empty-handed. Whatever you do for your partner, if it is not willingly done from your heart, then don't do it because there is no guarantee that this person you are helping today won't betray you in future. If you cannot do without expecting anything in return, then don't do it. Adding drugs to violence can only lead to death. Now, if it can be proven that IVD was the one who set his wife on fire, then he would go to jail. But if she was the one that set herself ablaze, then he cannot be jailed for something he didn't do. Yes, it is inhumane to watch someone burn without helping them, especially if they are your family member, but he technically broke no laws. Point flammable substance on yourself indicate you have lost your mind you don't care or love yourself or something terrible have gone wrong down the line so if blessing is insisting bimbo always wanted to kill herself i must agree with her and at this point perhaps we should start asking why was bimbo suicidal what is the effect of the sacrifice she carried for ivd According to this lover, at a particular time in a month, Bimba temporarily loses her mind. Was this why she set herself ablaze? Was this the time in the month when she loses her mind? Now, all these things we don't have answers to. We can only speculate as to what led her to burn herself. Blessing made a lot of sense in her argument, I must say. A woman that wants to leave will leave without drama. Some women are extremists and just want the drama, which point flammable substance on herself could be argued as attention-seeking, but it could also be argued as a cry for help. Blessing's only fault that I can say is that she failed to read the situation. This saga is still unfolding. People are in mourning. Um, a daughter and a mother is gone. A sister is gone. And she could have used another platform to air her experience and educate the public on intimate partner abuse. Not using this as a backdrop for whatever she wants to preach to the public now a note to ross all don't give what you cannot walk away from because i think the foundation of this whole thing is bimbo refusing to leave empty-handed because she felt she had given everything to the marriage and to the man so instead of leaving empty-handed she was going to destroy it all we don't have the full documentation of what actually happened in this people's relationship we could only speculate so while we are speculating let's take a minute to also reflect about what we are speculating on until i come your way again next time Ta -ta.